At this time on the dais, we have Florida uh, head coach Tim Walton, uh, student athlete Nicole DeWitt, uh, student athlete Alicia Ocasio, student athlete Janelle Wheaton, and student athlete Kelly Barnhill. Coach, we'll start with general comments about the game, then we'll open up for questions. Yeah, I thought uh, obviously the way we came out and swung the bat uh, early was uh, was the contributing factor for us to get a get a nice cushion. Thought we, uh, you know, Janelle came up and got that two out hit, and um, uh, we just said it was nice. It was good to see the players just step up and really kind of create a normal atmosphere at the plate, normal atmosphere on defense, and a normal atmosphere in the in our work leading up to this. But um, I think the big key is obviously when you have a, a shutdown pitcher like Kelly Barnhill or a shutdown pitcher like uh, Delaney Gorley, get them a lead early. Uh, it makes everybody feel a lot more comfortable. The swings can uh, open up a little bit. But uh, give credit, I think, to, to our kids. Uh, our coaches didn't do anything different. We didn't put any um, added pressure on them. We didn't, uh, I think I said it the other day, it's just going to come down to players if they can handle this moment. And I thought our players came out and handled this moment very well. All right, we're going to open up for questions. Sam, there's been a been a sense all season, I guess, that offense is kind of if there is a question mark to your team, it's the offense. At, at the same time, you're near the top of the SEC and on base slugging and all those stats. What is the story of the offense this season, and how do you feel about it right now? Um, you know, it's 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 good. I, I mean, I've I haven't been pleased with it. I think I've been pretty open about that. I don't think they've been pleased with it, and we've been pretty open about that as well. But um, I think when you see the number one in front of our name, it says number one Florida. You expect. You know, home runs, and you expect a ton of hits every game, um, but it, it just doesn't happen. And I think that, that it's probably a little bit more um, the it, it's probably more the expectation than it is lack of offense. We've got a lot of players, and if I, I went through the lineup um, of our nine starters, five of those starters have not played at this level for as many at bats as they've had this year. At least looked up, Alicia Casia has got her 54th hit went over the fence today, and uh, Chelsea Herndon has 100 and some at bats. And we just have kids that haven't done it before. And I think that anytime you've looked at, you know, Kaylee Cavistad hit 251 as a freshman. So I think the expectations were that we were going to come out and and kill the ball, and um, and and we don't. But I think that overall we've had stretches where we've been really really good offensively. And I think it's come down to just a little bit of contagious hitting. And like you saw today, we're capable of that. We do it a ton. Um, but part of it might be that we had to face our pitchers all fall along. We probably had about 60 at-bats all fall. Maybe we went into the season with a little lack of confidence. So maybe we'll have to change it up and go a little machine style next year and give them a little more confidence. All right, we we'll have a young lady. Oh, young man back there, then young lady here. Young man, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate that. Uh, for Janelle and, and Nicole, just those – the, the two RBI singles given that lead, give a 4 nothing lead to Kelly is probably like a 6-7 run lead to most. Just can you speak to the, what he's talking about just in terms of going up there and not putting pressure on yourself and just getting a nice clean at bat? The two of you, please. We'll have Nicole answer first. Oh. <laughs> um, I think it's just mainly getting those runs for Kelly because, I mean, having the lead always makes the pitcher feel better. And then letting Kelly do her thing and not worry about if she has to be so – pinpoint with everything. I think that's the main point for us to um, get the lead early and just start attacking early. So I think that's a big deal for us. I think scoring in the first inning was very crucial, especially for Kelly. She, um, Her pitchers were moving a lot better later in the game. So I think that she felt a little more comfortable. And just getting the, those runs it makes it easier for us and makes it more fun and less pressure up to bat. Kind of going off what Graham said about the offense, Alicia. You guys, it has been critical this year for you guys to produce at the plate. Um, talk about, was there something different today, or did you guys just want to come out here and just make a statement like, this is our offense? I think we did want to make a statement. Um, hitting is contagious, and when you know Kaylee started that uh, that rally, um, we just you know kept the energy going and kept the momentum going, and um, it, like it was contagious, like we said, and like it helped Kelly a lot to stay calm and collected and. Getting the lead, it just, just the team in general just helps us uh, stay, stay calm. Yes. <laughs> uh, your home run. What pitch did you see? What were you looking for? Take us through that at bat. Well, she has really good movement, uh, Samantha Shaw, and she pitches a lot of rise ball. So I was just telling myself to stay on top of the ball. And before that last pitch, coach told me to choke up. And I did, and I think that really helped me with that hit a lot. Kelly, you probably threw more pitches you wanted to the first inning, but can you talk about that score, that run, did that help you, and what did change about your pitching from then on? Uh, whenever you get a lead, it really does take a lot of pressure off a pitcher. Um, 
you don't have to be pinpoint perfect like they talked about. You, of course, you always still try to, but um, having that leeway and having those runs uh, does really affect uh, a pitcher's mentality up there on the mound. Kelly, I know but after you won the Player of the Year award, you said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep Wednesday night before we play Thursday. When did those nerves kind of calm down and you kind of get into your groove? Uh, probably after the first inning, uh, after we got those runs, it was really nice. Um, it just kind of, uh, not like the really bad nerves, but kind of like the butterflies, um, just kind of going in there, getting comfortable on the mound, and just uh, going after batters, because I knew my teammates uh, had my back on the field and uh, when they were hitting. Back to Nicole, Coach Walton said he didn't do anything differently with you guys to get you prepared for this offensively. What is that? Is that accurate, or did you do anything amongst yourselves? Did you talk about it? Have you been frustrated at all with you know what's going on offensively? No, I don't think we're like frustrated. I know we all know what we can do on the, up to bat. I mean, um, we have points of the season where we're just hitting the ball like crazy and stuff. So I mean, I think we're just sticking with what we know what to, with what we know how to do and I think that was the biggest point for us. Are there any other questions? If not, uh, coach, student athletes, congratulations again. Uh, Florida will play tomorrow at 6 p.m. the winner of the LSU UCLA game. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.